G'day guys and welcome to the walk around video of the Peregrine 19 foot Zona V Caravan. In this video I'm going to take you for a walk around the outside and I'll take you onto the inside, talk about all the optional extras and all the features that come with this Peregrine 19 foot Zona V Caravan. Righto, first up, we'll start at the very front of the van and go through a few of the features that we add and put onto our Zone RV caravans. So straight up, we've got our DO35 hitch. You can option that up to a DO45 hitch. Also down here too, we got our BM Pro trail safe breakaway system. We got our safety Dave connection in here. So that's another piece that we do offer with our caravans. We supply you with a cable that goes from the caravan to the car, which gives you a constant feed of your rear view camera. Also too, we got our two chains to attach to the car. And then we've got our seven pin, and then we got our gray Anderson which you can get up to about 30 amps into your battery system. Moving along, we've got our Zone RV power jack. Just a flick of a button that comes up and you're out of there real quick. Moving on into the toolbox or the front of the toolbox here. So we've got two storage compartments. One is completely free. And then on the driver's side, we've got the diesel 10 liter tank. This is now supplying not only your Webasto diesel air heater, it's now supplying your diesel hot water system as well. In the middle here, we do have a 20 liter jerry can holder. On top of the caravan here we have adjustable tie down rails. Moving up to the front of the caravan you'll notice that we've got max track. So this is another optional extra that you can throw onto your van. Above that we have a Nava light. So basically the big reason behind that is if you're trying to hitch up or unhitch you can flick that light on in the inside with a switch which illuminates this whole front end of the caravan which allows you to obviously do what you need to do at the front of the van. Also too, we do have this little guy here on your drawbar, which is your ESC, which is electronic stability control. It'll keep that van on the road at all costs. So if there's a bit of swaying or a truck goes past, it'll actually engage and bring that van back onto the road and do what it needs to do properly. So you got two latches, which are lockable and obviously keep those doors nice and sealed. Very dust proof and very waterproof. So inside here, you have 1,100 liters of storage. So both these doors on either side do have two gas struts. You can adjust these gas struts depending on how high you want them to be. Here on the other side, we have our gas storage. In here, you'll find that you have your one gas bottle. It's a four kilo gas bottle. You have the one bayonet on the other side. So we still give you the option to be able to use gas in the van, even though it is gas free internal. Righto, moving down the side of the van, on this side we'll find that you've got the tunnel boot. We do have a couple of optional extras in here at the moment, one being our wire tie systems. In here too, we do have quite a fair bit of room here. This piece here is your hydraulic pumps. These are a triple seal hatch, so it really does give us the peace of mind that uh, this thing is going to be fully waterproof and fully dustproof as well. Moving down underneath, you'll find on this one that we have our stabilizer legs. With the optional extra, you can actually add another two stabilizer legs, so all up in total you can have four again personal choice but it is another optional extra that you can throw onto the van right moving down to the rolling gear on the caravan so on here we have our standard 17 inch rim and tire you can option this up to an 18 inch rim pairing with these wheels and tires is airbag suspension which is cruise master atx on this particular van we have the drum brakes or we can go and upgrade to that disc brake which will give you the hydraulic braking above our tires and rims here we do have our 240 outlet here we have a nice big hatch which does house our power system. So for us here at Zone RV, we're very proud of how this is all set up and how functional and easy it is to manage. So basically in here, you've got your battery management system, you've got all your fuses, you've got your solar regulator, you've got your 3000 watt inverter, which is now a standard in all our vans. On the door of our electronic box here too, we are supplying this QR code. It's called our knowledge base. So basically you can get your phone out, scan it. It'll take you to a portion of our website, which will give you additional information on anything you need to know about your caravan. Moving away to the back end of the caravan now, we've got quite a few little features under here. First one I'll start with is the gray water outlet. So we do have a big valve there and a big gray water hose that goes onto the end of that. Underneath there, we do have a bypass valve. So if you want to bypass your gray water tank completely, click that bypass valve on and all the water will go past. Moving along, we do have our white little cap here. So we do have two of these on the van. What these basically are is a hot and cold feature shower. Next to that, 
we do have all our water outlets. So we've got a mains, your tank one, tank two, and tank three. So the water capacity in all our vans is 240 litres. On the back, you'll find that there are two Anderson plugs. So we have a red and a grey. The grey is for your solar blanket. And then we've got a red one there, which is for a Seaflow pump. Moving along to the very back there, we do have our yellow recovery point. So we do have two of these located at the rear of the caravan. Now at the rear of the caravan, we've got quite a few more features on the back here. All our caravans come with one spare wheel as a standard. You can add a second spare wheel as an optional extra. Do keep in mind, if you wanna option up yourself a ladder at the same time, you can't do either of these together. You either have to pick the spare wheel or the ladder. So here above me, we've got our Safety Dave reverse camera. So this is what connects to your car at the front of the drawbar and give you that constant feed at the rear of the caravan. Below that is another one of our outdoor Narva lights. Last but not least, on the bottom of the drawbar here, we do have an optional extra, once again, is our bike rack carrier. Working our way around to the final side of the van, which I like to call the lifestyle side. As a standard on all our zone RV caravans, we come with a manual awning, which is an Aussie traveler setup. You can have an optional extra to be able to put an electric awning on this as well. Down here, we've got our second shower outlet. This is a great little setup and a reason why we have it on the front is for this outdoor kitchen. Inside here, we do have a nice big door with our three latches, and then we've got a ton of storage up in here too. And then up here in the top hand corner, we do have a lot of our power systems. Above your outdoor kitchen, we do have two outdoor lights. We have the white light and the orange light to be able to illuminate this nice big lifestyle area. Here we have our front door step. This one in particular is our electric step, which is an optional extra that you can throw onto your van. Last but not least, we do have the other side of our tunnel boot. In this particular van, we do have our optional extra of our barbecue slide. As a standard, that is not included. It's just a full tunnel boot with a ton of storage in the front there. Also located inside this front tunnel boot is you got two 240 outlets, you have one 12 volt cigarette lighter outlet, and then you have another little light. There is an additional light switch on the inside on here. So this is basically to power this outdoor light here. Also located under your toolbox, you do have your tap outlet and you do have your air outlet. So if you need to pump up tires or additional tires in your car, you can do so with this outlet here. Now that we've finished the walk around on the outside exterior side of the van, we're going to make our way inside and show you all the internal features. Starting at the front of the van, we've got our bedroom area. We'll start with our overhead cupboards. So basically up here, we have two either side, plenty of storage. If that's not enough storage for you, we do have our side cupboards. We do have a lot of shelving in there as a standard, but these shelves are removable. So if you are looking for that hanging space and you wanna hang your clothes, we do have a rail located inside. On again, either side of the bed, we do have our foot lockers. You can open that lid up and it gives you another cavity of space. Located into the back on the headwall there, we do have two little reading lights. Both these lights do come with a little USB charging port. In the very far back corners on either side, we do have two nooks. Also too, we have a queen size bed. Under the bed, we do have two gas struts, which allows you to lift this bed up. It's a great way to keep things out of sight, out of mind, but have it in a nice contained area. Above the bed, we do have a large roof hatch located on our couch side of the van is a really big window and then located on our kitchen side is two smaller windows so all our windows have the exact same latches and the same functions on all of them also as a standard in all our zone rv caravans we do supply two sirocco fans with where these two sirocco fans are located you will be able to pump air in just about any direction in this caravan With the build of your van, you can opt for two layouts with your couch. So here we have the Chase, which is an L-shaped lounge. We do have another option of a cafe lounge. We do now, as a standard, have a storage box, depending on what size battery system you've gone for, whether it be anywhere from 200 right up to 800, you'll have your batteries located in this. To pair up with our lounge layer, we do have the telescopic table. We do have two 240 outlets, and then underneath there again, we had our fusion speaker. Above your couch, you'll find 
that you have these two very large cupboards, which are great for storing as your pantry and putting all your food. To finish off the lounge area, we do supply in all our caravans a little storage pocket. And then over here, you'll see this little black dial. This is your Webasto air heater. Moving into the kitchen area. A really big feature about the whole inside of this caravan and especially around the kitchen side of things, we have now gone gas-free internal. For cooking options, we have our dual induction cooker on the bench. We do have some more cupboards above, quite a fair bit of storage. Once again, with all our drawers, they are a soft closed drawer. Moving along, we have the underbench sink. We do have our tap. In this particular van, we have one of our optional extras, which is the microwave. We do have our TV setups. Below that, we have more USB charging ports, and we do have another two 240 outlets. To finish off the kitchen area, we do have our 274 liter Thetford fridge. It's a 72 liter freezer and a 202 liter fridge. Looking up above the fridge, you'll notice that we've got a Webasto air conditioner here. This is an optional extra that you can add into your build. We do have our touch lights. We have a white light and then we have a blue light. Here we have our max fan. So the great thing about this little fan is it's really good for being able to pull air into the caravan and also to suck air out of the caravan. Moving into the final stage of the caravan, we're looking at the ensuite area. All our Zone RV caravans come with only a composting toilet. A washing machine is a Kamek 2.5 kilo washing machine. We give you a generous size sink with a nice big mirror to finish it off. And above, we do give you, again, more storage in your overhead cupboards. We do have a very generous size shower. Above the shower, we do have another hatch. This one in particular is a rain sensing hatch. If it was to rain outside, this will sense that there is moisture there and it would automatically close for you. Well, that brings us to the end of this walkthrough with our Peregrine 19 foot Zona V caravan. I hope you enjoyed this video and we look forward to seeing you again soon.